Hello and welcome back to another episode of Toy Therapy. I'm your host, the Toy Therapist, aka Matthew Rant, and today I'm gonna do a review. I'm taking my channel in a different direction lately. Um, we do a little bit of live streaming, as you know. Uh, do hopefully coming back and do my uh, movie guns a bit more and as well with new films I'm going to see and hopefully this week I get a chance to go and see Godzilla and I will do my review of that soon but anyway subscription collecting is that something that you guys are into uh, I know a few people are I know a few of my friends collect the um, the Star Trek models like my good friend uh, Tony Thrussell Soundwave SG-1 and he's been collecting that pretty much since the the get-go i've never been a fan of uh the subscription collecting if i'm honest never been a big fan um and lately since i moved up here uh there was a bit of a void in my collection and what uh, i would like to do because i cancelled a few bits and pieces so i decided what i'm going to do with that bit of money and how i'm going to invest it uh i was um and ahhing with doing the uh the eagle moss um 116 scale uh, Merlin and Falcon a while back but I didn't have the room or the time and patience to do that and I always thought to myself if they do an X-Wing I'll do it they didn't know X-Wing I like it but now I moved to uh, up to Chippenham and space is limited uh, I just went it is a bit big it's really good for the price and plus with my black series it will look really nice in the background and I was just thinking, where am I going to put it? And then it dawned on me, I want to do something which is something that me and my partner um, can do together as well. Because we're both into wrestling. Um, I am more than she is. She's more of the old school wrestling. I'm more into a bit of old school, a lot of the old school. And I'm enjoying the new stuff at the moment. Uh, most of it, for the most part. But said that and done, um, so when it comes to the subscription collection, there's been a new subscription collection that's come out that I did actually like the look of. It's a bit different. Uh, it's combining something for me and my partner to do so we can read the magazines between us and I can do the collected and do the reviews and maybe she might do some reviews of some of her favorite wrestlers. I don't know. It all depends on how it turns out as if she wants to join in, which I hope she does, because there is one figure I know that's coming out that she is going to love, and that's going to be Roddy Roddy Piper, and I think that's about issue 1920, so something like that. So anyway, I've decided to bite the bullet and go for these. Um, as you know, as, as I said earlier on, I'm a massive wrestling fan, so I decided to bite the bullet and go for these. This is the Hero Collection, which is very similar to what you get with the Eagle Moss as well. I met the, the editor or lead design uh, at NCM Comic Con, and I was talking to the guy, and basically, and his opinion on wrestling and how what he wants to do, it kind of just ignited something in me, and I went, you know what? I went there and then, I know, yeah, I'm going to do it. And I signed up for it, got my first one uh, literally yesterday, and I had a chance to look at it yet. yet. So the magazine is a bit, it's a bit small side, okay, but I am thinking of maybe doing some sort of hole punch in it as well, so I can put it to a nice little folder and keep it nice and, and nice and neat. It does come with a bag as well, which I most probably will keep it in as well, or get a poly pocket and then slide her in there. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But speaking to the the designer, he's got a lot of, um, he's trying to do a lot at the moment. Uh, one of the subscription exclusives that you get with it, you, you, you get a little like a plinth like you get with the Marvel Legends as well. But this one comes into a ring, so it comes in like a couple of parts. So I'm looking forward to that when that lands. Uh, so at the moment, so I got issue one, um, issue, I think it comes out in twos, I think they said. So I'm looking forward to getting that. I think it's going to be John Cena and I think Charlotte Flair, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, just look in the box. It's got a couple of little things on it. But anyway, I'll get to that in a moment. The magazine. It's actually quite a good magazine, actually. It's well put together. Okay. There's a couple of things I don't like about it. Okay. One of the things I didn't like about it, which I can understand... Uh, it pretty much because of the competition, it completely forgets the um, the career of AJ Styles. It only shows you a small bit when he was uh, in the early years when he was in um, 
WCW. And he was a part of a tag team, uh, which I didn't know actually was in um, in WCW because I remember him from Ring of Honor and as well as TNA because and New Japan. That's what I know of him. And, uh, and, and this completely slipped my mind. So I learned something new, which which is quite good actually for this type of magazine. And uh, yeah, so I thought that was really nice. Shows you the uh, the highlights as well for his career as well, like the first pay-per-view, which is the Royal Rumble. And when he came in at number two, was it number two or number three, something like that? I lost it. And when I seen the music, I went, and I seen the trunk, I went, oh crap, that's AJ Styles. They, they, they've been teasing stuff about what they what's going to happen and, and they just literally just pulled the trigger and they got him in and he did amazingly well so kudos to AJ Styles then it goes you a bit more about him as well so his highlights and it goes into pretty much more about when he became champion which I thought is really quite well put together magazine like I said it's on the small side but that doesn't bother me and plus with, with space being a bit of a problem I welcome it. And uh, it comes up with some of his special moves, the phenomenal forearm, the starts clash, tells you a bit more about that. And as well, it comes through his uh, start connections and people he's feuded with, people he's uh, tag teamed with, which I thought was quite nice. And uh, it's great as matches, so I'm, you can get a chance to relive. So we've got the WD Network, and you're getting this as well. So you can use this as suggestions and watch those matches, which I dare say I'm going to do. That's something I am going to do. I want to use the the network a bit more and more than I'm using. And then you get something with the, with the old school as well. So Vincent uh, Vincent McMahon, senior. And you're getting a bit of a, a nice sort of bit on uh, Nature Boy Buddy Rogers. And if you know Nature Boy, he, uh, he got the name, or was it Nature Boy Reflect, got... The okay from Buddy Rogers to use it, so which is quite good as well. So it's a quite basic magazine. It's got some stuff that I didn't know. It's got one or two bits and pieces I didn't know, and it's got a lot of stuff that I did know because I've been following his career since he came back into WWE after TNA and New Japan and so on as well. And I I loved him in TNA as well. Really enjoyed that. So and he's a phenomenal worker. Good magazine, well put together. I'm really happy with that. So anyway, let's get to the little figure. And I'm doing it a bit different this year, because, not this year, but with this video. Um, because it's a small figure, I didn't see the point setting up my review station. I'm just going to do a face on, quick videos, something different. So the packaging, that's it. The packaging is quite a big box, really. And I think as well, these are going to be the next ones. And if you're a, a, a subscription member or something, I think you get these as well, which I am. So I can get, I can get them all. So I thought, what the hell? And it's got as well the hologram as well, if you can see that, which is so you know it's licensed. There, when I was speaking to the guy who is the um, the design uh, or, the, or the editor of it as well, and come up with the content and stuff, he wants to do championship belts and stuff, a little add-ons for this as well. So he's got a lot. Um, he's got a lot of big ideas. So he's got to get them all passed by uh, by WWE. So and the merchandising team. So. It's going to work out, but let's get to the figure and see what you think and see what I think, really. I know there's quite a few people collecting these, and I don't know how many people are doing these reviews on online or not. So uh, it's only been out maybe just a couple of weeks, maybe, maybe less. I don't know. I don't know um, how it's all getting, but at the moment, I should be pretty much. Uh, up to date. I'm not sure about the Americans or anything like that. When they get theirs first or not, I don't know. Um, it's packaged quite well together. Really. It's got a nice little box, which I dare say I won't be. Don't think I'll be keeping uh, because of space. But for the moment, though, until I get uh, somewhere to put these figures, I dare say I will put it back in a box temporarily. I just wish it didn't come all the sellotape tape on it, which is a bit annoying. Um, but anyway, if you guys are big wrestling fans, please just uh, drop me a comment below. Let me know who your favourite wrestler is. Uh, my favourite wrestler, pretty much of all time, is Brett David Panhart. I met him um, a couple of years ago, and what an awesome guy. Really, really, really awesome guy. 
Uh, I am a massive Paul Heyman guy as well, so I like what he does with or what he's done with ECW. Oh, I love that. Um, first impression, well put together actually. It's a really nice figure, nice finish. I've seen the prototypes; they were a little bit better, but only by a touch. Um, and it's actually got a little bit of weight to it as well. So it's got at the bottom. You can see it's got AJ Styles there. Um, so you can see all that there. You're getting a nice rendition on the back there. Let's get a more to focus. Nice painting on the on the, uh, the trunks side there. And for the front. There we go. Try and get that more in focus. Right, wait a minute. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. It's a bit more in focus there. So, like I said, the hands are done. The face is done really well. It's got a bit of chest hair. It's got a tattoo of uh, of his kids' birthdays, I think, as well. So, the jacket's spot on. The back is spot on. It's a really good figure. It's got not too much weight to it. it hasn't got a lot of weight, but... It's quite well done. I'm really impressed with this. So, so let me know what you think. I'm gonna gonna carry on collecting these. Really, um, like I said, I'm a massive wrestling fan, so I'm gonna give them a go. And and you get two for uh, about thirteen ninety nine a month. So if you pre ordered yours on the website, you get a bit more of a discount. But you can pick yours up for fifteen ninety nine in 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 most retailers. Most retailers. Oh retailers magazine stands and things like that so the only problem is with that though if they don't do very well they're just going to discontinue and then you're going to be missing out but i thought go for the subscription and so i make sure i don't miss out and they do come to pretty much right to my door as well so i'm quite pleased in the detailing and the craftsmanship the painting on it as well so that's going to go on display i'm going to like i said i'm going to find a place where to put that for the moment um the plinth is really good, nice and solid. Um, it doesn't bother me that it doesn't have the name there, but it got the name on there. You know it's official merchandise as well, because you've got the copyrights on there as well. But yeah, where this is going to go, I'm really looking forward to how they're going to do this even more. So, so put him there for the moment. So, like I said, something a bit different to what I'm going to try and do with my channel. Like I said, I got the... Um, the VR as well, so I'm gonna try and do maybe do a new logo with Toy Therapy with the VR and uh, and so you know what video you're gonna watch. I need to sort of work, do that a bit better. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot gonna go on my channel lately, uh, it, or not lately, but soon. Anyway, so hopefully I'll get a few regular videos, and when I get one of these, bang, straight away get that out. But I'm quite impressed with it. I really am impressed. With it. I would like to see a bit more history on AJ Styles before WWE, but that's advertising another company, so which WWE are not going to do, which is a bit of a shame. But as they own WCW, they can get you can get away with that. Uh, I'm going to give this as as an introduction um, for someone who's never been into the collection uh, or the subscription collection magazines. I like it. I'm going to carry on buying it. It's something different. It's something that's going to keep me uh, amused, entertained up here as well. And another little hobby angle string to my bow. So overall, really enjoy this. Really enjoy this little figure. And I can't wait to see the next couple, the next couple of weeks. So hopefully you'll start seeing some more videos coming out as well. So this will be a little, little schedule for me as well. So, But anyway, this is Toy Therapy signing out. Until next time, see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.